Hi, I'm Barbara Gullen, and I'm here to help you again with your federal employee benefits. Today, we're going to talk about TSP and what to do with your TSP in retirement. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying that I am not giving anybody specific investment advice, okay? This is general information to be used for education purposes only. While I'm communicating this, I don't know your specific needs for income or your specific risk tolerance. So if you have questions about what I say or have questions about maximizing your TSP, you're gonna to wanna to click the link below and fill out some information so that we can visit with you one-on-one -on -one and then I can give you specific advice. But what I'm gonna talk about today is strictly for educational purposes only. Most of you know that the TSP, Thrift Savings Plan, is an excellent accumulation tool for saving money for retirement. Now, you can participate in the traditional TSP, which is pre-tax money, or you can participate in the Roth TSP. And you're eligible to participate in the Roth TSP regardless of your income level. So listen to me doctors, listen to me pharmacists, listen to me for those of you that are in the higher grade levels and think that you can't participate because of your income level, you absolutely can. The question then becomes, what should you do with it when you do in fact retire? You have several different options. You can turn it into an annuity through MetLife. They have several payment options available. I will caution you, however, that they don't include the cost of living increases like your first pension or social security are going to have. And when you turn it into an annuity, you are giving up access to that entire account balance. You can't start an annuity and then call MetLife and say, hey, I need $10,000 for this unexpected repair. They're going to tell you too bad, so sad. For most people, it makes sense to take your thrift savings plan and roll it over into an outside IRA where you're going to have more investment options and a little bit more control. For those of you that are retiring early, either because you're a law enforcement officer or you're disabled or you've hit that MRA and 30 magic number and you're leaving before 59 and a half, you are going to want to leave some money in the thrift savings plan. Okay, listen to me while I say that again. If you are under age 59 and a half and retiring, you are going to want to leave some money in your thrift savings plan. Why? Because within thrift savings plan, within TSP, as long as you're over the age of 55, that age is 50 if you're a law enforcement officer, air traffic controller, or firefighter, you are able to take money out of TSP without a 10% early withdrawal penalty. If you roll it all over into an outside IRA and you're below 59 and a half, they will take a 10% early withdrawal penalty unless you do some other stuff with the tax code that make it possible but really tie up your IRA for a while, okay? There are ways to get around it if that's happened, but it's not anything that is easy to do or something to be taken lightly. When you've got that money in an outside IRA, you can then work with a fiduciary who understands your federal benefits, and you can create an IRA that's customized to your risk tolerance, your investment choices, and how you want the money to be used. Can you leave the money in TSP and take a systematic withdrawal? Absolutely. It's definitely an option. But I want you to understand that unless you open up the mutual fund window, which you can only do with 25% of your balance, and the costs and trading fees for the mutual fund window are incredibly high compared to what you can get in the outside market, you're going to have those limited investment op options of GFCS and I. Okay. It's important that you work with somebody, you know, just like when I'm 
when I'm sick, if I go to WebMD and self-diagnose, there's a good chance I'm going to come up with the wrong diagnosis. It's important for you guys to find a fiduciary. That means that they have your best interests at heart, not their bottom line, who understands how your federal benefits work. If you're wondering why that's important, go back and watch the video where I tell my dad's story where he basically lost everything. But it's important for you to connect with somebody who understands how your federal benefits work so that they can help you make decisions that are in your best interests and help you create the legacy that you want with your TSP. Whether you need that money to support mm -hmm. your lifestyle or you don't need that money because of your pension and social security and perhaps you're getting a military retirement or disability, a fiduciary can help you understand the tax consequences of letting a traditional TSP grow and grow and grow or are looking for somebody who can help you minimize future tax liability and create the outcome that you want for your TSP. While you can leave it at TSP, for most people, it may not be the right decision. So again, not offering specific investment advice here, just letting you know that you have options and that for many of you, the best option might be to roll that money over into an IRA where you have more control and can help direct where those monies are going to go. If you fill out the link below and give us your information for the first time, we're going to send you this journal that I've created that's called When I Die, Look Here First. In here, we've got a place for you to include important information like your passwords, contact information for your doctors, your attorneys, your financial professionals, the location of important legal documents like your powers of attorney, your will, your trust, any other legal documents that are important, as well as a place in the back where you can journal about your life and tell future generations about what your life was like in your own hands, in your own words. There's even a place here for you where you can fill out how you want your pets to be taken care of or who's agreed to take care of your pets if you pass away unexpectedly. Um, combinations to save. I really tried to think of just about everything possible that you could need. I encourage you to reach out to us. We'll visit with you for a complimentary consultation, meaning that there's no cost to you to ask us these questions and help you figure out how to make the most out of your federal benefits. We look forward to helping you retire successfully.